Stream Drunk? Dungeons, the Eye of Draconis. Looks and sounds like it should be pretty good. It's a hack and slash beat em up. Pretty hard to screw those up. It's definitely got a Golden Axe vibe, from the characters to the action to even the select screen. It's got a campy sense of humor if you're into that. But sadly, this game is just not good. A definite recommendation to avoid. First of all, the camera is way too far away for a game like this. Everything looks tiny, especially in high definition on a 20 plus inch monitor. I feel like I'm playing Lemmings for God's sake. In addition to that, the sound of killing an enemy is just too flimsy, and really the sound mixing overall is a giant mess. You've got the metal soundtrack, the sound of enemies jabbering, weapon sounds and other sound effects. It's a cacophony of random shit. The reasons those old school beat-em-ups were so satisfying to play were the exact opposite of how this game looks and plays. Games like Golden Axe, Final Fight, Turtles in Time, Streets of Rage, those games had big huge sprites, clear sound, direct controls, and it was all very satisfying. The controls here are okay, I guess, but why is there a separate button just to pick something up? Why can't I just walk over it? Meanwhile, the gameplay here is grind, grind, and grind some more. Just hack at random stuff and make sure you grab the food on the floor before you die. In other words, it's a war of attrition. Does that sound fun? Because it's not. There's voice acting here too, and oh man, it is extremely amateurish, and that's putting it nicely. From the delivery to the actual recording. It takes a real man to be able to express his emotions. Yeah, a, a real wimpy one. Did they record this into a webcam mic at someone's apartment? The story is meant to be campy and funny, so like all humor, either it's up your alley or it's not. All I can say is that it definitely didn't do anything for me. Also, this game is way too short. Even if you end up liking this game, you'll finish it in like an hour. I will say some of the boss fights are clever. The way the levels all look distinct and interesting is nicely done. The artwork looks great. And there's plenty of interactive stuff too. It does have multiplayer and you can join other people's games, which is always a cool feature. But in short, this game is like a band that formed together because everyone was really big fans of, say, Metallica. So they said, hey dudes, let's form a band and write songs like Metallica. You can't just replicate stuff you like and expect it to be good. It doesn't work that way. You need more substance than that, and let's face it, more talent. There's a reason Golden Axe stands alone when it comes to games like this, and it would appear that Dungeons The Eye of Draconis missed most of those reasons.